Hello and welcome to this video where we will look at how to create a custom sort order in Excel. Now when you're ordering numeric values, they naturally have an order, which you can specify as ascending or descending. But when you're ordering text values, naturally they would go in an A to Z order, but that's not always appropriate. The typical examples of this would be names of months and days of the week. But looking at my sample data here, we have this column for priority. And I would like them to go in the order of max, followed by high, then normal, then low. But that is not a sort order that Excel is going to understand. So we're going to create that custom sort order. Now to do this in Excel, you use custom lists. To access the custom lists, we click on file. We then come down to options, into advanced, and scroll all the way to the bottom to you cannot scroll anymore. And you see the button for edit custom lists. And you can see it uses these lists in sort and fill sequences. As I come into here, you can see that I've got the four standard custom lists. I'm in the UK, so these are my settings in respect of names of days of the week and names of months and the order in which they appear. And I've also got a custom sort order that I've created in the past in one of my training sessions where you can see the values, distinction, merit, well done, and others which we cannot see going beyond the width of that list box. You can also see in here that we can create our own lists by simply entering them in that list entries box, pressing enter to separate them, or we can import them from a list from sales. We're going to see both here. Let's start by just simply typing the entries. So I want max first, enter, followed by high, then normal, and then finally low. In this nice simple example, and we can click on add. There it is added to the list. I click OK, and we have our order. Let's click OK again. So firstly, that actually appears now as a fill sequence. If I was to click anywhere in this sheet, and I typed high, for example, you know, the second one in my list, and I clicked on that and filled down, then it naturally picks up that order, normal, low, round to max, then high, normal, low, and so on. But what this video is really about is sorting values. So let's go and have a look at that. If I now right mouse click one of the values in that priority column, I'll come to sort. I'm going to avoid the A to Z option and custom sort, I will tell it to sort by the priority column, cell values, but from the A to Z option, custom list. In here, I can specify my max high normal low, click OK, OK again, and I've managed to sort that list in our custom sort order. How simple and very useful that can be for someone who needs their own specific order of text values. Now I've just jumped to another sheet because another common example of needing these custom sort orders is names of months. And we saw that for me, the default is to start from January through to December, a typical calendar year. But let's imagine that when you sort these month names, you want them to go from October round to September. A typical scenario with this is that it may be a tax year. So you can see in column H that I've actually entered the months in that order. So I'm going to jump into the custom lists as before. So file, options, advanced, scroll to the bottom, edit custom lists. This time we're going to import them from cell values. So I'll move this window out of the way, click in the box, 
provided and select the cells on the sheet. The reference is written in for us and click on import. And now I've got a, another version of month names. So I have one starting from January and now I have another one starting from October, our custom sort. I'll click OK. OK again, let's go use it. So if I right mouse click on one of these month names in column B, sort, custom sort, and same process as before, but obviously different data set here, custom list, I'll be sure to choose our October one. And as I apply this, it's going in that order. So the first month in that data set being November, all the way through to September. So two examples there of creating your own custom sort orders. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to receive the latest Excel and Power BI tutorials from this channel. Thank you, take care, and I will see you again soon.